Arizona forecast uh, for their budget and fiscal model. In spring of 2010, UOA forecasted 228,000 jobs by 2013. But in the recent forecast, they estimate only 91,000 jobs will be created by 2013. The current economic climate is not rosy. Uh, and it is more important for all of us to work with our leaders to diversify the economy so when the next recession <coughs> hits, uh, we're not so vulnerable and we can come out of the recession faster and stronger. GPEC works with our community partners to attract new investment and jobs to the region. Currently, we're doing relatively well. We have uh, uh, attracted more, uh, about 30 companies to the region. Um, uh, we're, um, create, we created about uh, 7,000 jobs, and our high wage jobs have exceeded expectations and we're at about 500% of goal for the year. The regional goal for GPEC and our community is to diversify the economy. To meet this goal, we focus on high-wage industries like advanced business services, aerospace, bioscience, healthcare, high-tech manufacturing, and renewable uh, energy. Today, these high-wage industries represent more than half of us for the pipeline of prospects. And prospects are basically companies that are looking at their Upside for the region and for the state is renewable energy, especially solar. Uh, this is a growth industry with the potential to create more than 400,000 jobs in the country by 2016. Although Europe and particularly Germany have been the leader uh, in this sector, the U.S. is uh, uh, catching up pretty quickly. Renewable energy in the U.S. has been growing faster than the overall economy. Leveraging growth opportunities in solar has been one of the key initiatives at GPEC uh, in partnership with all of our communities. Uh, since beginning 2010, 11 companies selected Greater Phoenix to locate manufacturing and headquarter operations. These companies are expected to create more than 6,000 jobs and invest more than 1.6 billion in capital investment in the region. When these companies locate in the region, they are tax supplier companies and create economic opportunities for local businesses. Just like Intel has supplied relationships with local companies and their highly, employed, uh, highly uh, paid employees go out and um, purchase services and goods in the local economy. Uh, building the solar industry cluster uh, will have a huge economic benefit for the region and the community and the global business. But one of our ability, uh, our ability to attract high-wage industry to the region really depends on our competitive position compared to other markets um, that we typically compete, uh, compete with. Arizona's tax rate uh, positions us competitively on various projects against our competitive markets. Because our unemployment insurance and workers' compensation rates are relatively lower than our competitive markets. We're competitive on projects that are labor intensive. But because our, of our business tax, business property taxes and sales tax are relatively higher than our competitor states, we're less competitive on projects that require big investments in capital, equipment, building, and real property. Under Governor Brewer's, uh, Brewer's uh, leadership, Arizona recently passed a jobs package. It created a new Arizona Commerce Authority. Uh, it reduced business taxes and created a tax credit for net new job creation. This package will improve our business climate and expand our economic development capabilities. <coughs> But because of our relative
relative um, higher um, business property taxes. We need some type of economic development program um, to be more competitive on capital intensive uh, projects. This could be done with smart economic development programs that's fiscally sound and require minimum wage and investment pressure. And it can be designed uh, to create new revenue to the cities. Uh, with the tool to reduce business property tax, our competitiveness can be significantly improved. On a typical project, uh, we currently uh, is last among our mountain west states, uh, but with a business property tax reduction, we can immediately move our competitive position to third, and combined with the leadership package, we can move into second position. Our ability to assess uh, existing and new businesses to invest in our communities and in the state, and, and to expedite our uh, economic recovery, we need to improve our competitiveness. Well, and that's uh, basically my presentation today, and I want to thank you very much for um, giving me the opportunity to present to you, and uh, thank you very much. She had told me before that there was some grim news, and, and certainly she delivered on that. Uh, but, uh, but again, back to what Chris said, there are so many opportunities in Chandler, and there are some bright spots, so we want to keep that in mind as we're, as we're uh, considering what Kathleen shared, that there are still opportunities out there, and that we believe that there's quite a few here in Chandler. So. Uh, with that, I want to invite Jim Pipper uh, up to speak to you. Uh, Jim is a veteran of the SBA, uh, 25 plus years in uh, both Ohio and here in the Phoenix area. And uh, we invite him year after year to come and speak to us because he, uh, he just really uh, does a great job of, of, uh, of taking financing and uh, making it interesting and fun. And uh, just one of my favorite people. So I would just invite Jim to come down now and uh, give him a